Music, please. What is evolution? Well, it is the change of a species characteristics over a period of time. This is evident in all species, such as humans for example. Now, how did we end up like we are today? Well, this is because our genes were rapidly changing and developing over time. And when our genes were changing, it was completely altering our ancestors' way of life. But, how did our ancestors look back in the day? Well, let's take a look. First, let's look at the oldest form of humans, the Austro that name. As you can see, they look a lot like the great apes of today. If you look at their feet, you can see that they have a divergent large toe, but scientists still don't know what these feet were used for. This is probably one of the most recently discovered human ancestors, and it was found in the 1990s. A few million years later, we see the rise of the Australopithecus africanus. As you can see in this picture, their skulls are rounder than our skulls, housing a huge brain with very small teeth. These guys also had really large arms and legs, kind of like the chimps of today. Another few million years later, we get to one of the first species with the genus Homo, the Homo habilis. An interesting fact about this ancestor, the origin of its name actually means handyman, and the reason why it was called this was because it was thought to be the first maker of stone tools. Like the ancestor that came before it, it has very long arms, but also has a smaller face and teeth, rather than the wider face and bigger teeth from its previous ancestors. Another million years into the future, we get to the Homo ergaster. They had long legs and slender bodies, and their rib cage was like our own rib cages, rather than the cone-shaped ribs our ancestors had before. This ancestor was a huge change from the Homo erectus, and this new body shape improved its balance and made it possible to run. Now we get to the Homo, uh, Heidelberg. Genesis, which lived about only 200,000 years ago. This species had a flatter face than its previous ancestors, and also unlike its previous ancestors, they lived in colder climates, and because of this, they had wider bodies to conserve heat in themselves. They were also the first human species to ever hunt, build shelters, and basically the first species to ever build a society. If there was ever an ancestor that began to act most human, the Homo, the uh, that, would be that ancestor. Now, what about the ancestors that never got the chance to evolve? Or in other words, species of humans that went extinct? Well, there actually are some species of humans that did just that, like the Paranthropus line. These guys looked more like monkeys than any other species of humans. They had huge jaws for chewing and a lot of hair for warmth. A Homo species that went extinct was the Homo Neanderthal, which is another recent species, and the ancestor we have the most in common with. They used a lot of tools for hunting, and they also had a big nose for humidifying and warming cold air. So, how have we grown as a species? Well, evolution isn't just observable by looks. It could also be observed in intelligence. Although it's unfortunately not observable in some people, we can still see how others incorporated ideas from our ancestors to use in modern day life. We created technology to help us throughout our day, we have many ways to communicate, we created different societies and rules to them, we basically are just a more advanced version of our ancestors. So when you really think about it, we have come a long way from what we used to be.